Hey everybody, this is Gregory from Dappy Diversity. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make money as a blockchain developer. And this is a really exciting time to be a blockchain developer because there's so many different ways to make money. And I'm gonna show you four different ways in this video. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and be sure to thumbs up the video below that really helps them get found so that more people can become blockchain developers. So there's four different ways right now, really, that you can make money as a blockchain developer. And I'm going to go through each one of those step by step. And the first way, really, is to build your own blockchain-based application. And this is a decentralized application or a dApp. And this is a great way to make money because so much of blockchain technology right now, so many of the use cases involve financial transactions. And, you know, if you're using a blockchain like Ethereum, you have to pay money anytime you make a transaction. And a lot of the dApps or the blockchain applications that are getting built are when users are actually sending money already on the blockchain. So it's a prime place for you to start charging fees or, or building apps that charge fees. So let me show you some examples of apps that do this already. The first one is a really popular uh, blockchain application or a decentralized application or dApp called CryptoKitties. And you might have heard of this already. You know, it's a collectible game, a crypto collectible game where you can purchase, uh, you know, collectible digital cats on the blockchain. And basically, you know, you purchase the cats in order to hold on to them and collect them. And every time that you purchase a cat or a kitty, um, you know, the application charges a fee. So how does it do that? Well, the decentralized applications that I'm going to show you today uh, use smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain, which, you know, is, are pieces of code that are deployed to Ethereum that live on the blockchain. It's code that's, you know, run on the actual network itself. And I talk a lot about that on this channel. I show you lots of different ways to build smart contracts. Um, so subscribe to the channel and check out those other videos if you wanna learn how to do that step by step. So these applications will have smart contracts that are deployed to Ethereum. And whenever the users interact with the application, they interact with the smart contract, the smart contract has some code written into it that automatically just takes a portion of the fees that the user is sending and just you know keeps it. It just charges the transaction and stores that amount um, and sends it to whoever you want to. You know, in this case, probably you know the person who wrote the smart contract, and that could be you. You know, you could write your own smart contract that does that and just sends you some of the money anytime you know someone makes a purchase or a transaction. So CryptoKitties is a really popular example of this. And there's some other ones. You know, um, if you want to move more towards a purely financial application, you know, there's a, a dApp like ETHLEND where you can actually issue loans on the blockchain. You can write your own smart contract that does something like that um, that allow people to, you know, uh, hold, you know, hold collateral, you know, issue a loan, um, all kinds of ways that you could do stuff like this. And that's where Ethereum is really innovating and powerful is are these is trying to, you know, create this new wave of financial applications. So uh, there's some other examples of decentralized applications that you could build. Um, actually, by uh, guests that I've had on this channel, I'll show you another example. Um, this is the token, you know, multi-sender dab. And what this app does is it allows you to perform an airdrop of tokens on the network. So I'll explain what that is. If you ever heard of an ICO um, or something like that, where you know you create your own cryptocurrency and you want to you know uh, send people these tokens uh, to promote your project, or you want to you know um, you know send them for whatever reason, you need to basically send them out in a big blast, not just one by one. And that's what this app allows you to do. And anytime you make those big blasts where you distribute tokens or airdrop them all over the place, this uh, blockchain application uses a smart contract that does that for you. And it charges fees anytime you want to you know, send tokens out. So that's an example of something that you could build um, in order to make money. So another... Um, 
application that is built by somebody who I've had on this channel, and as you've been a watcher of DAP University, um, is this, you know, DAP Volumes. This is a DAP Discovery website, um, a lot like any of the other DAP Discovery websites out there. But this actually is basically a website that has blockchain-backed features on it. So you can discover DAPs on DAP Volume, um, but you can also, you know, upvote DAPs or advertise your own DAP. Um, you can like the DAPs. And anytime you perform these actions, you know, it talks to a smart contract here on the blockchain. And whenever you do those actions, you know, those smart contracts take a fee. So you can read this here. Basically, you can invest in DAP volume. And basically, the investor gets 10% of all the ad revenue. And the payouts are automatically done through the smart contract. So that's also a really great way that you can do that. You can build a website with blockchain features like this where it captures some of the payments with the smart contract and allows you to get the fees. And if you want to look at more examples of applications that you could build in order to make money as a DAP developer or a blockchain developer, you can go to any you know, DAP discovery website like uh, DAP Radar is another example, and you can just browse the DAPs and we'll click through to one, like we'll click through to Crypto Kitties, and you can just go look at the smart contracts that are powering these these blockchain applications, these decentralized applications, and you can actually click on the smart contract addresses. Like I'll just do that right here with Crypto Kitties. You just click on the address, and it goes to EtherScan, and you can uh, tab over to the Code tab and actually see the code of the smart contract and how it works. And you could actually go in there and find the logic about how it charges money. And you could replicate something like that in your own application. And that's a really easy way to just figure out how you could build something. And so another type of application you could build would be a cryptocurrency exchange. And you know you might have seen the, some of the big cryptocurrency exchanges like um, you know, Coinbase.com or Binance.com, you know, you can buy uh, Bitcoin for US dollar or things like that, um, or like Binance where you can trade a lot of different cryptocurrencies, or you might have even seen like decentralized exchanges that are powered by the blockchain. And, you know, if you go check out the 0x protocol, um, they have a suite of tools that allow you to build your own cryptocurrency exchange. So the second way that you can make money as a blockchain developer is to hold an ICO. Now this is an initial coin offering if you're not familiar with that kind of thing. And there's a couple different ways to do initial coin offerings, but I'd say the easiest way is to do one on Ethereum with something called an ERC20 token. And I got several other videos on this channel that explain what ERC20 tokens are. If you don't know about those already, you can just you know browse around and search for ERC20 on my channel. Um, and I've even got several videos that show you how to build your own cryptocurrency on Ethereum and you know build a website or you could you know hold an ico that's actually what this is right here this is crowdsaledemo.com this is actually a demo website that i have um, for people who are they're launching icos uh, you can contact me about that if you're interested um, so yeah holding ico is a way that you can raise capital uh, to build a blockchain based project and you know you basically what you do is you can create a token that has utility in your ecosystem, you know, a token that has utility for your blockchain application or blockchain dApp, and then you raise money in order to be able to build that, and then you issue the tokens to people, you know, and it's called an initial coin offering, kind of like an initial public offering in more legacy financial systems. And the third way to make money as a blockchain developer is a lot like the second way, but a lot more advanced. And that's basically to build your own blockchain. And you know that could have an ICO involved with it as well, uh, where you could issue you know rewards from people who would use the blockchain, um, and that's going to have a lot bigger technical hurdle to overcome because you would have to you know get people to use it. You'd have to actually you know have people participate in running the blockchain. But you know you could fork an existing blockchain technology and improve upon it and change it for your own purposes in order to you know create a project that people will use. And if you if it's a, a, a blockchain that uses proof of work mining, you know, you're gonna be able to create you're gonna be able to participate in the mining process and make money by hosting the nodes that actually 
run the blockchain. So if you, you don't know what proof of work is, it's the same consensus algorithm that is currently used on Ethereum, where basically you have miners on the network um, that confirm transa that mine transactions and participate in the consensus algorithm, um, and they're you know rewarded for doing that, uh, for offering their computational resources, and they're paid you know by the users of the blockchain. So the fourth way to make money as a blockchain developer is basically to just work as a blockchain developer, you know, build blockchain technology, decentralized applications, dApps for other people. And I've got another video on this channel that I, where I show you how to, you know, get a job as a blockchain developer. Um, but I'll give you a little taste of how you can do that here. There's a great website, it's cryptojobslist.com, where you can actually go to find your next job in the blockchain industry. And they've got you know some of the top companies on here, and you can you know browse uh, the jobs by skills. You can find developer jobs. You can find you know remote jobs. You can find Solidity jobs, which is specific to the programming language that's used on Ethereum to write Ethereum smart contracts, to write decentralized applications and DApps. And it's really cool. You know, it's a great resource. You can interact with some of these companies. And so check out that other video that I mentioned about how to get a job as a blockchain developer because I kind of go on that more in depth and I kind of even talk about strategies for how you can find more jobs. Um, and also, you know, as far as building blockchain technology for other people goes, you can be a freelancer. You know, there's lots of people who are trying to build projects right now and if you develop the skills, it's a great skill to have to be a freelancer and to do projects for people. You know, you can... Go to a freelancing website if you want to just get started, or you can, you know, do all kinds of other methods for getting freelance work by, you know, net networking with people on the internet, going to meetups, going to conferences. Uh, if you have other professional freelancing skills in the past, you know how to do these kinds of things. So that's the four different ways, that's eight, sorry, <laughs> but four different ways to make money as a blockchain developer. Hope you all liked those tips. Um, leave a comment below if you want to know more about any of those. And also, click the thumbs up button. Like I said, that really helps these videos get found so that more people can become blockchain developers. So I'm going to sign off for today, guys. But until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.